go and wear the swimsuit and you'll be surprised at how good and freeing it feels. Guess what we have today, you guys? We have another closet clean out series, swim. Y'all are in luck. I have at least two videos here, all right? I mean, maybe even three. I wanna try to get through this one box with you guys and then we, oh God. I think we've got at least two more. At least two more swim closet clean out series. Welcome to closet clean out series number eight. clean out series because I just have too much shit. We're gonna just put it frankly. Okay, I have too much stuff. I cannot keep everything that is sent to me. Basically, this is all that's left of everything in my apartment, minus the shoes. So, that actually reminds me. We're not done. We'll move into shoes after I finish swim. But basically, everything else in my entire apartment has been gone through, has been put into the sale pile, has been donated, or has been given to my mom, my sister, or my sister-in-law. I have so much swim, it's disgusting. Why do I need this much swim? I can only wear swim where I live. Let's just see. Basically June, July, and August. Maybe September if I'm lucky. That's four months out of the year. You think I'm wearing all this swim? Uh-uh. I mean, I do travel quite a bit, but I don't need this many bikinis and one pieces. So we're gonna go through these boxes today. I will likely cut it up into two separate videos because I have... <laughs> A lot. Do I even dare? I was gonna dump this out, but I'm a little bit afraid. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for being here today. And if you guys are returning, thank you guys so much for coming on back. If you are a lady out there watching my video, say what's up to me in the comment section below. I really hope that with a video like this, you guys can see my body. You can see me being in swim and live joyfully and be confident. And I hope that you guys gain inspiration and gives you like a little boost of self-confidence that you can be out there wearing some swim, having cellulite, having thick thighs, having a big old booty, and um, you know, being confident wearing a swimsuit. So, anyways, welcome to Closet Cleanout Series Numero Ocho. Let's get right into it. All right, I'm gonna make the executive decision that we likely will not get to all of that swim, so we will save this swim for next time. First up is this suit from Abercrombie, Obsessed. I might have worn this one time since I purchased this. I think I got this like a couple years ago. It's this really cute pink and white gingham textured bikini. She is not wedgie proof, so I keep having to pick my wedgie, which is super annoying, but because I haven't worn her yet, we're definitely gonna keep her. She's got this little tie back, adjustable straps. Love her. To the company that has traumatized me as a child, Abercrombie has been doing a fantastic job with some of their pieces as of late. This was probably one of the first brands that sent me swimwear. It's called Bikini Beach, and I could not love this swimsuit more. It is so good. It has these little sheer panels. The back is pretty cheeky, so I'm not gonna turn around, but you guys can see that the back is completely sheer as well. But she's not wedgie proof, but I'm gonna keep her. She's a keeper. All right, I have some random like one-off like mix and match pieces. So I'm just gonna throw them together. This bikini bottom and leopard, as much as I love it, I just don't love the way that it fits me. Like I want it to stay up here and it's just gonna constantly probably go down to where it's meant to be worn, like right around your hips here. Don't like it. This top, I think that I can pass on as well. Uh, she's like kind of like a, I don't know, like a cropped top swim, which is cute, but I'm like, I'm not gonna wear it. So these are gonna go to the donation pile or the trash pile. One of my favorite swimsuits of all time. This is from Adore Me and it's kind of like a one piece. Although it looks like a bikini from the back, it's a one piece in the front. This cut on me, oh, so good. She is 1000% a keeper. Okay. One real quick thing, if anybody has any connection to Miami Swim Week, please pass my information along, holler at your girl. I would love to walk in Miami Swim Week. I mean, imagine me walking down the runway in 
a bathing suit like this. Oh my God. Putting those dreams into the universe. This one piece reminds me of like the most perfect bridal swim. I don't know like if somebody is getting married and they're like in some sort of like beach pool setting. This is so cute. It has crochet detail everywhere with like a little cutouts. It is 1000% wedgie proof with this cute little tie back. I think that this should go to someone else who's actually gonna wear it. I'm never gonna wear this swim suit. Um, it's so beautiful, but it doesn't really have a space in my closet, if you know what I'm saying. As much as I love this pattern, you guys, and love both the cut and like the style of this bikini, I just have to let her go because there's something that really annoys me when suits are made like this. Like it's not going to stay you know, turned under. It's always going to just pop out and I just do not like that. And the same thing is happening up here around the bust. So I, unfortunately, as much as I love this one, am going to have to say goodbye. <laughs> you can tell how long some of these bathing suits have been in my closet for because at this point in time, I didn't realize that this cut bottom really just doesn't do me any, any good. <laughs> At all. It sort of reminds me of like Britney Spears. I just wish I could do this, you know? Oh, well, it's so tight. It's so tight. I cannot. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a no for me. Real quick though, this material is like a thick scuba material. It is so good. I love the color. I love like, you know, the peach with like the black piping. It's so good. I just, it doesn't, and, and, it no longer fits me. So we're gonna say, ta-ta. This bikini used to be my all-time favorite bikini. I got this at Victoria's Secret before they shut down their swim department years and years and years ago. I mean, look at this, like these gems on the top of the bikini, so good. I think it's time we say goodbye, because listen, when I was putting the bottoms on, do you hear that? I think the stretch is tired. I think we need to retire this bikini. It's so good. I was so obsessed with the way that it fit my body. It was wedgie proof, even though she's cheeky. Oh, I just hate to say goodbye to this one, but we had a really good run. Really good. All right, this top, oh, listen. Do y'all hear that? Wait. Do you guys get the point? It is painful. The fabric on this, I don't know what happened to it, but it got really stiff and very uncomfortable. This top never had a bottom. I always just matched it with like a bright, funky color to match the top. These bottoms are from Walmart. They're fantastic, but I think because it's just a one-off, I'm gonna get rid of it. And the top, as cute as it is, she's gotta go. She's older and she's just past her prime. If I had to guess what you guys were gonna say about this one, my guess is that you would probably ask me to keep it, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I remember wearing this one time, I was in DR on a girl's trip and we were all getting ready to go swimming and I put this on and everybody was like, whoa, what are you, like, you're doing too much. I just might be just doing too much in this. Uh, she is fun. But am I actually gonna wear her? Probably not. I mean, maybe with my man on some tropical island. I don't know, maybe. So I really don't wanna start a maybe pile. I don't like the way that it fits down here. I want it to be up here. And honestly, like, it's a little bit loosey around the sides, but I'm sure I could somehow fix that. <sighs> don't make me start a maybe pile. Y'all are gonna hate me for this one, aren't you? What do I want to do with this? All right, maybe pile, fine, fine, fine. This reminds me of Sherbert. You guys remember those old school plastic containers of like multicolored Sherbert? This is exactly what this swimsuit reminds me of. I honestly think that I'm over it. I think the fit is pretty good. I like the coverage of the bust and it seems to be wedgie proof. I just don't think that it's like really me anymore. So I'm gonna say goodbye to it, but I do really like it. It's from Target. Okay, 
I don't remember which brand sent this to me. I think it was either Cupshe or something like that. Super cute, but I just think that I have too many swim suits and if I'm trying to get rid of stuff, this is going to be one of them. Love the color green, love the cream ivory color with the orange. I don't think it's wedgie proof because she's riding up. Love the cut of it, but we are going to say goodbye because we need to get rid of stuff. Stick into it. When I was putting this bathing suit on, I was like, for sure, gotta get rid of her. But now that I have her on, I don't know if I can. Can we talk about these bottoms? What? She's cheeky and she's really not staying in place that much. I mean, the great thing about this is that you can sort of scrunch this in and scrunch this out both in the back and the front. And I kind of like it being teeny tiny. I don't really have a swimsuit like this. Should we keep her? I think we should. I think we need to. We must. We must. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The back is way too complicated to try to put together because I know that I'm not gonna keep her. Although, now that I have her on, I really like the black and the white. <sighs> I don't think that the straps go in front like this, but I really didn't wanna put it together properly to show you guys, but I think I'm going to pass on her anyways because we need to get rid of her. Okay, bye. <laughs> I forgot how much I loved this swimsuit. This is from Aerie and she fits perfectly. I love the little cutouts and the little details here. So cute. Oh, and I think I tried to go to the ends of the earth to try to find the cover up for this. And I found her not from the Aerie website, but from some other random website. And she sort of matches, but sort of doesn't. Oh, there she is. Oh no, that's not it. Come on. No, I really wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Did I already show you on another video? All right, it must have been in the video where I tried all of those cover-ups on for you guys, because it wasn't in the one that I haven't done yet. All right, just envision. I don't know what I would have done with it. Is it in there? Let me see. All right, it's really not that serious. Um, do I wanna keep or get rid of this one? I don't know, I really do like it. But am I gonna wear it? We need to get rid of, we need to get rid of. Mm. <sighs> Why am I so indecisive? Maybe pile. We're just not gonna waste any more time, maybe. I was being lazy, so I just am holding the back. <laughs> instead of class beat it. But you guys, oh shoot. As much as I love this color and as much as it's my branding color, I think I'm going to pass on it. I don't know, I just need to get rid of stuff and like, it's great and all, but do I feel sexy in it? I mean, maybe a little bit, but. <sighs> now I'm second guessing myself because I like the color so much. What am I supposed to do with this one? All right, maybe pile. Maybe, oh my God, we've got three in the maybe pile. Absolutely not. No, no, no. I really love a white bathing suit, but I don't think that I've ever found one that I absolutely love, and this ain't one of them. Mm -mm. No, no, no. This might be one of my best fitting swimsuits that I've ever received from Adore Me. It just fits so stinking well. <laughs> However, it took me about 10 minutes to get on because it's so complicated in the back. It doesn't look that complicated, but it is, trust me, because the loops and the swoops and the crisscross and you gotta slip it over your head and make sure that it's a lot. And I don't have time for that. Love the bottoms though. Love the way that the top fits, but I think because we are in the realm of getting rid of things, we are going to say bye. We love you girl, but bye. As cute as this one is, isn't she cute? I think that I'm going to gift this one to my mama because I recently started getting her to wear one pieces again. One pieces without the frilly little skirts that she wears with all of her swimsuits because she's so uncomfortable in her own skin. But I am doing God's work and I convinced her to finally put a one piece on and she felt incredible. I really hope that this video and videos like these can inspire you to do the same thing. Life is too daggone short to be hiding 
clean and to just be like weird and feel weird in our bodies, like go and wear the swimsuit and you will be surprised at how good and freeing it feels, okay? So this suit, as cute as it is, um, it's from Skinny Dippers. I'm going to give this one to my mom and I hope that she'll wear it with the confidence and the love and the joy that she did with the last one. <laughs> there must have been a time where like this cut swimsuit was really popular because I have a lot of them and it doesn't fit me. Th they don't fit. There's always like so much gapping here on the side. I don't know what that is from, but like, yeah, this is just not a good fit for me. As cute as this suit is, I'm gonna have to say goodbye because um, we're just over her and we've, we've matured a little bit since wearing her last. <laughs> I was for sure gonna say no to this bikini top. Look at how cute she is! Look at the little gems hanging down from the bust. It's so cute, but why on earth is she so high in the back? Look, like, is that normal? <laughs> oh my god, that makes me laugh so much. Like, all right, she fits, she's cool, but then bam, she's like being hung up <laughs> on her back. <laughs> Okay, well, if I covered her with my hair, you can't really tell. Yes, you can. <laughs> I love her, but I have to say goodbye because that's just so funny to me. <laughs> All right, the bottoms are cool, but we're gonna just say goodbye to those two. And then the last sort of mix and match bits that I have here, we're gonna make a general decision real, real, real quick on every single one of them. And we're going to say goodbye. Yay. We did it. Let's count them up. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know. 14, 15, 16, 16 donates. We have three on the maybe list, but we're gonna go ahead and say 17, 18, 19 donates. And we have one, two, three, four keeps. I would say that that is a successful closet clean out. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, you guys, that wraps up today's Closet Clean Out Numero Ocho. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I hope you laughed a little bit and I hope you gained some inspiration and I hope it sparked some confidence in yourself as well. As always, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notification for every time I upload a new video. And if you guys feel so inclined, as always, you guys can hit that super thanks to say thank you for me for providing you all with this amazing content. <laughs> All right, and I will see you guys in the next one.